Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and I love to talk about books and I like to do lots of fun stuff on this channel and uh, today I'm doing a five minute book review and I do five minute book reviews because, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. You gone now? I do five minute book reviews because I can talk for a long time and I choose to do the five minute book reviews so I give myself a time limit. And I don't waste too much of your time. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you like me, that's great. If you don't, that's also fine too. So today's 5-Minute Book Review is about 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I have so many emotions when it comes to this book, but let's do the, the little summary for you also spoiler i do spoiler reviews i do not censor myself when i'm talking about these so just a heads up all my reviews pretty much have some sort of spoiler in it so just a heads up anyways 99 percent mine is about darcy barrett and her twin brother jamie and tom valeska what happens is darcy comes back home to her and or her grandma i think it's her grandma it's been a while since i read this to be honest um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes their grandma okay so it says darcy and jamie inherit their grandmother's um cabin and old home it's like a home that they've spent a lot of time in as kids and tom valeska is one of their childhood best friends she comes back to to deal with this home and um she's kind of a mess She's working as a bartender. She has this like bad girl kind of vibe going on. She has a heart condition and she's avoiding all of the stuff with that ever since her childhood. And she's an ex photographer and is doing this job hopping thing. So now that she's stuck in one place to deal with the, um, remnants of what's going on at her grandma's place after she passes away she's stuck here and she's been best friends with tom valeska and obviously tom valeska is her brother's best friend and she's always had a crush on him and he comes back into the picture because he takes over a like um construction home renovation company and he's the owner of it and he's taking over the um project of doing this house and Jamie's out of the picture for most of this because he's working and um, so it's left to Darcy and Tom to figure everything out about the house. So we have this kind of like sort of enemies to lovers romance a little bit because she's like in love with him but we also get the feeling that he's not into her at the very beginning. So like friends to lovers romance but she's like so extra. <laughs> very verbal in your face kind of person and he's so not but the 99% mine is that she's felt like he's always been 99% her brothers and 1% hers and she's never had this chance so we go through this process of seeing them build this relationship and realize that hey maybe he is a little bit more percent mine and less percent my brothers so i love this book the reason why i said at the beginning is i have multiple feelings is because the first time i read it i didn't like it um i could not relate to darcy she was a little bit too extra for me very much so like i cringed embarrassed reading some of the stuff that she did at the beginning like pouncing and saying things that are so like not me but then i read it again and then I read it again after that and I realized that I actually do really like this book. Um, it's so different from The Hating Game. The characters are so vastly different and I feel like she wanted to do something different so that she didn't have the same Lucy Hutton kind of feel and I appreciate that. And the more that I read it, the more it grows on me and the more that I love it and I've greatly appreciated it. I feel like it's something that I will go back and probably read for a while. I love it. 
I keep it on my shelf and I'm probably never gonna get rid of it. And um, it deserves love, it really, really does. So if you are willing to give this book a chance, I 100% suggest doing so. It's different, it's a little bit, it's a hot and steamy. Sally Thorne does a really good job at the hot and steamy. Um, you have lots of fun things in here. I love the idea of twins. I've always wanted to be a twin, so any book with twins in it, I'm like, hey yo, yes. And it's just lots of fun. I love the home renovation part of it. Um, I read The Tools of Engagement. I brought that up in a former video. By now, you'll have seen it, but um, right now, it's not up on my channel yet. But by now, when this video goes up, you will have seen it already. And Tools of Engagement is also a like house flipping kind of thing, and I love that. Um, I've read three books with like a house flipping kind of thing in it, and I feel like I totally love that genre, like adding the little house flipping stuff in there. So I appreciate it. Um, I think it's four stars. I love it. It's great. Give it a shot. If you love romance, again, I've said romance is my genre. I'm pretty sure every single book that I've done is romance here, so get used to it. I'm a big fat lover. I love it. Hot, steamy romance. Give it to me. Love. Anyways, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. I look forward to talking to you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, um, also have a great weekend. It's not the weekend yet, but it's going to be. <laughs> okay, love you, bye.